In the past decade, the government of Uganda has implemented fundamental institutional and economic policy reforms and achieved remarkable economic growth and poverty reduction as a result. But further steps need to be taken to ensure that the agriculture sector of Uganda continues to grow. At present, problems in the inland supply chain hinder trade as well as agriculture development and this is evident for highly time-sensitive goods such as fresh product. A serious challenge arises. In this study, we address two questions. How can we improve connectivity in the Ugandan agriculture market? And how can we reduce the delays and transaction costs in the agriculture trade supply chain? Logistics plays a fundamental role in the supply chain. In this project, we use real data to make realistic proposals for new infrastructures. We establish for Uganda geographic linkages, climatic variations, population distribution, road network conditions, and the location of warehouses and markets. We do so because we want to estimate the effects on the market of price policy, quality of product, and logistics timing as products move through the markets. Two innovative ideas stem from our approach. The first idea is about connection. Farmers, traders, and exporters can increase their knowledge of pricing, routes, and storage, for example, by using ICT infrastructure, such as the portable phone network, to effectively share knowledge and experience and thereby improve agriculture and trade. The second idea is about reducing risk exposure among different actors in the agriculture sector including farmers, wholesalers, market traders, and exporters. We combine products or crops similar to a financial portfolio in order to obtain a decrease in risk in this often very vulnerable sector. We examine these different aspects and thus develop scenarios for policy by using a modeling approach known as agent-based modeling. Here, you can notice the farmers identified by blue lines the exporters are shown in red, and the traders are magenta. The model shows their interactions and their exchanges. We need now to understand better how all the different actors in the agriculture sector in Uganda behave, and for this reason, we need your help. We need you to be engaged in this process. Your support will allow us to create frameworks where we can examine how to enable the agriculture sector in Uganda to maximize its potential, how to strengthen capacity, and thus improve the livelihoods of all Ugandans.